building distributed applications can be very challenging. Luckily for developers, there are a range of open source technologies available to make our lives easier. This presentation is going to give you an overview of Microsoft Orleans, Dapper, Steeltoe and Project High. And hopefully at the end of this presentation, you'll be armed with the knowledge that will help you focus your attentions on the solution that's right for your needs. Starting with Microsoft Orleans, this is a very well established product been in existence from Microsoft Research since 2011. Version 3 was released as early as August 2020, so we still have a very vibrant community around Microsoft Orleans, and it is also used extensively internally in Microsoft itself. It's used for things like Skype, and it's also used for Azure Active Directory, and for the online games Halo and Gears of War. Orleans only supports the .NET Framework and .NET Core, so if you're using a language that's not .NET, you will have to look elsewhere. Orleans is great for building highly scalable microservices, distributed or IoT solutions. And one of the things that Orleans introduced was the virtual actor model. With virtual actors, they, dif they differentiate from reliable actors in that they are activated when needed. And after a period of time, if they're not used, they're deactivated and garbage collected. And then when the actor is requested again, its state is reinstated. So it means that you can have as many actors as you want and only the actors that are in use actually use up any memory or resources at any given time. Orleans also fully supports distributed ACID transactions and it can run very well on Azure Service Fabric. In fact, the virtual actor model from Orleans is what is actually used in the Azure Service Fabric SDK. One of the drawbacks with Orleans is that because it's an older technology, it's very challenging to containerize and host inside a container orchestrator. So if containerization is one of your goals, unfortunately Orleans is not a good choice for you. Dapper stands for Distributed Application Runtime and it's the new kid on the block. It was announced in October 2019 and whilst there's no fixed release date, it's believed to be towards the end of 2020. Currently, the, the Dapper team at Microsoft is working with customers who are running Dapper in production and they're making sure that it's hardened and stable before it actually goes to general availability. Dapper is event driven, serverless and portable, and it's a great runtime for building microservices on the cloud or the edge. And like Orleans, Dapper also supports the virtual actor model. One of the main strengths around Dapper is the fact that it's language agnostic and suitable for polyglot microservice environments where you may use different technologies to implement different microservices, whichever technology is appropriate for a particular microservice, for example. So if you're using .NET, Java, Go, Python, whatever language you want to use, all popular languages that support HTTP have an SDK associated with them. Dapper is keen to build on open standards, so it uses things like cloud events and open telemetry rather than reinventing the wheel. And at the heart of Dapper is the concept of building blocks. The, this building block architecture allows extensions to be added to Dapper over time, and you can choose whichever building blocks you need for the problems you're trying to solve. And you can also create your own building blocks if need be. Examples of building blocks are things that would talk to a Redis cache or to a secret store, for example. So if you're using Dapper, accessing secrets should be fairly straightforward in a development environment. All communication with the Dapper APIs are done over HTTP or gRPC. Because Dapper is quite new, it currently doesn't support distributed transactions, but that may be something that's introduced in the future. Dapper itself is deployed as a sidecar using the sidecar pattern, and um, you can Dapperize existing code. Because it runs as a sidecar, it's effectively transparent to your application code, so you can stick it on top of an existing application with a small amount of refactoring and your existing application isn't aware of the Dapper aspects. Dapper also handles important things like quality of service features, such as retries. So if you're using Dapper to invoke a microservice, if that microservice fails or is unavailable, it will take care of handling the retries until that service is available. Steeltoe is another open source project that was released in 2015 
and version 3, also launched in August 2020. Steel Toad differs from Orleans and Dapper in that it is not a runtime. It is a set of NuGet packages that provide distributed application features, but if you need a runtime around that, you either have to build your own, or if you only want to use a subset of the features inside a distributed application runtime, then Steel Toad is a good choice for you, providing that you're using .NET. So Steel Toad is .NET only. One of the strengths around Steel Toe is the fact that it works with the Spring Cloud Server for configuration. So it works seamlessly out of the box with this technology, which allows you to provide your configuration settings and secrets for all different environments. And Steel Toe will automatically retrieve the correct settings based on the environment where your application is deployed. And as you might imagine, some of the key features around Steel Toe are things like service discovery, service breakers, and message bus support for publish subscribe based applications or event based applications. Moving on to Project Tie. Project Tie is not a distributed application runtime. It was introduced in May 2020 and is a fully open source framework that basically makes life easier for developers. It's a developer tool that allows you to easily spin up and debug distributed environments on your local developer machine. Traditionally, if you're building applications in a distributed environment, it can be quite troublesome and time consuming to actually replicate that environment on your developer workstation. And Docker Compose is something that has often been used to solve this problem. Project Ty can work with Docker, but it has no dependency on Docker desktop at all. So if you don't want to use containers, you can still use Project Ty. It includes local service discovery and consolidated logging. So Project Ty comes with a developer dashboard that you open in the browser and it tells you everything you need to know about the environment that's running on your developer machine. And you can access all of the different logs from all of the different component parts of your distributed solution in a single place. It supports .NET Core 3.1 only uh, and above, and it's implemented as a CLI. So it's a command line interface that you invoke to start up your project and make sure that all of the various parts of your distributed application are running. Any container, public or private, that's available today, a Docker image, can be used with Project Tie. So if your project is heavily container-based, then Project Tie will work for you very well. It also facilitates the deploying of solutions to a container registry, but it's not great at the final leg of the of the deployment journey. So whilst it can quite happily deploy your application to a container registry, if you want to actually take that application and deploy it into different environments, at the moment you'll probably have to use a different tool for that and there are plenty of other options out there. Project Tie is really focused at the server side .NET developer. So currently it doesn't work very well with single page applications and JavaScript frameworks. So as long as you're doing server-side only development, Project Tie will probably work very well for you. So in summary, the technologies that we've discussed are Microsoft Orleans is .NET only, and it's very challenging to containerize. It can be done, but it's not for the faint-hearted, but it can run on Azure Service Fabric. So if you're using Service Fabric already, Orleans might be a good choice for you. Dapper is the new kid on the block. It's a modern cloud native distributed application runtime and it's language agnostic. So it supports any popular programming language and it can be deployed as a sidecar, which makes it invisible to, the, to your application essentially. It does a lot of the hard, hard work, heavy lifting for you and it's definitely recommended. Steel Toe, on the other hand, is a set of NuGet packages for .NET development and it's a great choice if you actually only need a subset of distributed application features or if for some reason one of the existing runtimes doesn't solve your needs and you need to build your own runtime. And finally, Project Tie is a tool for .NET developers that allows you to easily run and debug distributed applications on your developer machine, optionally with public or private container image support. So hopefully now you have a very high level understanding of the different technologies, you can identify the one that's right for you and you can focus your efforts on pursuing that particular technology.